What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, my name is Bob. Today we got us some Minecraft. Okay. Let me let me uh let me let me brief you guys real quick here. Let me let me brief you guys. Today we're gonna be playing some hardcore Minecraft. Continuing our series as we are. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. I'm not gonna lie. Let me let me kind of jump right into this real quick and then, then well, I, could, I could segue this better. So in the last episode, we kind of built the uh villager farm, we kind of went into the nether, all that kind of stuff. Went pretty far into the nether, actually. We got a lot of a lot of good stuff out of that. We got lost a little bit, but we're fine. Made it back home. A-okay. But for this episode, guys, so villagers, they're grown up now. As you can see, it's time to start distributing them to their places in which they want to live. Uh, 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 uh. Richard, I did not forget his name, okay? Also, it's nighttime apparently, so I should go to sleep. I keep forgetting my bed's up here. In the last episode, guys, I asked if you guys wanted me to make a gold generator, basically, is what it, what essentially is, it is. Gold generator is really OP and it's really good. The only thing about the gold generator is it has to be in the nether. That's kind of a problem. Now, why is that a problem, you might ask? Well, let me tell you, it is the nether and that's uh, a problem. Oh no, oh no, no, okay. This is what I gotta deal with on hardcore mode, guys. Like, I just casually want to talk. Let me blow this up. And then we also have the Skelly that's alive literally right now wearing gold armor. Um, I do have some arrows. Just straight up destroy this kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, blocked, dirt. Oh, and he's on fire and he burned. But not only are we gonna make a gold generator, guys, we are going to make an emerald generator essentially out of this because they kind of go hand in hand. Pretty cool. I'm gonna turn these gold, this gold into emeralds. I'm basically just gonna get super rich. Also, guys, I worked on the house a little bit. Worked on the house. Okay, so as you can see, the next layer, I I think I'm actually gonna erase this layer and redo it and kind of make it go out more. I think it'll be cool going like small, small and then like top heavy, you know what I'm saying? It looked like it was looking good until I made this floor. So I'm just gonna get rid of this floor and redo it. So the goal right now is I have to move one of these villagers into here. For me to do that, I'm gonna need a couple more trap doors and a lot of rails. I know where to get rails. Let me, let me make some trap doors real quick, get that over with to go put over there. I know where to get some rails because we have the mine shaft underneath our house. Pretty easy mode. Okay, there's his doors. Now let's go down here though. We gotta go in here now and get some of these. Get away from me. Stop. Let's get some of these rails. Oh man, my pickaxe is too OP. Just takes one tap. Any redstone rails around here? That would make life pretty easy. What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a leathered skelly. Pop. Now he's on fire. Look at him. Look at him burning. Can I catch his hands? Nerd. What did he drop? Leather booties. I want. Oh, those are my villagers. I was like, what is that sound? Now that I got some rails, this should be enough rails. I'm really hoping it is. Uh, how do I make redstone or activator? Re yeah, red, redstone. Yeah, redstone powered rail. There you go. Okay, so I need gold, a stick, and redstone. Should have all of them. Some gold, not enough gold right there. Do I have more gold over here in the stash chest? Oh, wait, never mind. I have rails. Oh, wow. I have a lot of rails still. Okay, cool. Sicko mode. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down these rails. I'm going to place down, I'm going to have to destroy that. I'm going to place down you. I'm going to place down an activator rail right here where this glass. Glasses. You'll see why in a moment. Okay. I'm gonna place these all the way down into the next room. Basically, each time I'm trying to get like an important villager, I'll do this. It's the quickest, easiest setup as of right now for me with the way that I made this stupid aquarium villager aquarium thing. So what I need to do though is I need to make a cart, an iron cart. So iron cart should go like this. Yes, iron cart. Perfecto patronum. I'm also gonna need to get a wow, look at these guys. They're all interested in hanging out over here though. Well, I only need one of you guys. Oh, wait, I need a redstone torch. That's what I need. Redstone torch. Can't forget it. Can't forget it. Redstone torch. -a. Redstone dust. That's what I need. I'm totally brain farting already. All right, it's late. Calm down. Don't judge me right now, okay? All right, so we got our torch. We got our potatoes. We need a break. Whoa, there's a cat. I have a cat in the aquarium now. An orange kitty. I'm gonna have to tame it later so it doesn't run away. So now all I need to do is place down this torch right here. And then I need to place this this down right there. And then I need to push a villager into it. Get, get in there. Why are some of you guys desert villagers and some of you guys aren't? Get, get over here. Get in the get in the cart. Get in the cart. You can do this. You do there he goes. And he's off. Good day. And just like that. Boom. Now I break that. I break this. And I break that. Now he's in his new home. Alright, cat, you can run around freely. You're an animal. So now the problem is that they're gonna start breeding another kid. And I don't know if I want another kid yet. Yeah, I don't want another kid. We're not dealing with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break one of these beds. And now they should have a perfect amount of beds for all of them. And then I'll break all these rails. He already has a bed. Now he just needs a job. Now what job shall I give him? I'm going to make him a Brewster, basically. I'm gonna make him a Brewster. I'm gonna make a brew stand for him. Okay, okay. That's just a joke. Ha ha ha. Brew stand. Boom. Bow. Bang bam. Okay, so now I need to run over here, drop this brew stand for him. You want a job? Here's your job. Take, take the job. Take take the job. You don't want to take the job? Want, do one of them take the job? Nope. You're going to take that job. Just like how Richard did, okay? We'll take that job. Do I got to put it somewhere else? Where do you want it? Want it right there? Where do you want this? Take the job. I don't know why he's not taking it. I'm going to have to deal with him later, though. This guy's looking at the cat. Richard. Good old Richard. What a good guy. Whoa. Okay. So two of them took the job and not the one that I wanted. 
What? But yeah, basically what I know is that clerics, when you level up clerics, they're able to buy gold off of you. So with all the gold that we get, we will be selling it back to a cleric, essentially. Next up, guys, we're going to go into the nether. I'm going to need a lot of kublai stone. Go to our trash chest, grab a bunch of kublai stone. Um, I also will need a ton of wood. I don't currently have a lot on me yet. So I got to go get that too. Great. So I'm basically going to make this right next to the, uh, right next to the portal. So I don't got to travel very far to get to it. I can just like run straight to it. Bang, bam, boom. It's easy mode. I should make hoppers as well. Hoppers would make everything a lot easier, but I would need a lot of hoppers for the method that I'm doing it as, but it might just work better. If it's the way that I wanted it, hoppers would be perfect. But the way that I have to do it because I don't have silk touch it might not work out the way that I want it. All right. So now that we got some wood, we got uh, a bunch of logs actually, which is perfecto. Exactly what I need. I also have a bed on me. Perfect. It's about to be nighttime. Don't you gotta go home. Another day, another grind. I'm gonna leave that bed there. No need to take it with me. Not sleeping in the nether. Don't you dare comment that in my comment section. I know what it does, okay? So with this, uh, I got wood. I got that. I got that. I have way too many ingots on me. If I die, I mean, I die and it doesn't matter anymore. Anyways, I guess. Go through. Oh, just poke myself in the eye. <gasps> no. Oh, that scared me. Oh my gosh. You talk about a heart attack. What in the world is that guy doing right here? Ooh. The way I planned to do it was going to be right here. That lava makes a little bit of a predicament. Yeah, I'll make it like out right here. Oh my gosh, dude. That, that scared me. That was genuine fear. So I'm going to build it out about two blocks wide. Then we're going to go out like this. Give you guys the real play-by-play -play how I'm doing this. See, and the goal is to make a lot of emeralds because emeralds is king in this game, you know? If you guys didn't know that, now you know. Emeralds are emeralds are great wait i can use slabs right now that's what i can use i have a thing in here okay make some slabs there we go perfecto patronum then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna slab it up right here like so we're gonna make it out just a bit maybe like five blocks five six all right easy mode so now i'm just basically gonna fill this in real quick as like a platform now if you guys are familiar with the style of what i'm doing right now you've probably seen the giga gaming video because i did this in a giga gaming video actually with connor and i on skyblock just gonna like i said finish filling this in real quick probably gonna make it way bigger more than likely yeah i'm just gonna finish it with blocks i'm too lazy to get make more uh, labs one problem is gas is the only thing i really have to worry about being this high up ain't nothing gonna come to me except for a gas so with this now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go up uh, actually i gotta count this this matters this is important this is actually important one two three four five sixteen seventeen eighteen nine one, two, three, four. Faster, 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 faster. No one's gonna blow you up. Not today. Gas kind of makes sounds from far away. He might, he might just be far away. He might. Really hoping he is. Though. <gasps> he's right there. He, he's gonna see me. He's gonna see me. Whoa! Easy man. That was a totally different one. Yeah, I'm building two blocks wide. So just in case, if he sneaks up on me. Yeah, I haven't been counting. Dang it. Hey, myself. 21, 22, 23. Yeah, 23 was how much I wanted. Got a lot of this nether rack. I'm so close to the roof. Probably should have just made it lower. So now that we're up 23 blocks though, big goal is to expand outward now. So we're up 23. So what I'd like to do, ideally you want a center point on this. I did it even. I did the two block walkway. So ideally you'd want a center point, but I'm going to waste some blocks here. Okay. That's basically what's going to happen. This all makeshift my center point. We're gonna go out and then we're gonna destroy this block. Okay, so then we're gonna build around the center block, the center block. And then we're gonna leave holes in between as well. What I'm gonna need to do, here, let me make a crafting table real quick and just stay up here, get it over with, rip it off like a bandaid. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go down, but make a ton of these. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, do the same thing. Let's go out and then go around it again. And then after we go out far enough, we're going to repeat this process a couple times and I'm going to definitely widen the base down below. Now I've got a couple layers to work with here. Like I go down on that one. So basically the goal is to like make this re come at me. I dare you. I literally dare you. What I'm going to end up doing though, is I'm going to have to make a couple more layers out and I'm going to have to make it thicker down there for more of a landing. We got some Enderman hanging out over there. Oh man. The other thing is I'm actually going to hollow this out. Good thing I got a machine gun of a pickaxe just blowing through that stuff. Yeah. That guy's out. He's out. 100%. He's too loud. Oh, there he was. I think we're good. I think we're okay, though. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to see us yet. We are a-okay. This is one of the most terrifying things to do. It's like hardcore mode. I, if I fall and I die, I mean, it's kind of just, that's it. Very, very risky strat to do on hardcore mode. But YOLO swagons. I know this will produce. And then we go out and around one more time. My pinky's getting weak. Uh, okay. So then what we're gonna do now... Woo. So now I need to place trap doors all along these edges. So all the way along these edges are going to be trap doors. These, these trap doors are all going to be opened so that I'm able to I'll be careful with my steps. All right, let me also finish my sentence here. So these trap doors, I don't know why it is that mobs decide they're like, oh, it's okay to walk on that. They think it's open. That's literally it. They're like, okay, that's open. I'm safe. But in reality, it's obviously not. 
Oh no. That would suck. I'm just like crafting and he just comes out of nowhere. Keep, 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 keep on keeping on. No big deal. This is the first layer now. I'm like trying to be as careful as possible and walking around. This is terrifying. Okay. And then now we need to do the exact same thing on this outer ring. I'd like to make this bigger. I would just have to like hollow out more of it. And that, I mean, that's just going to take some time that I don't feel like doing right now. This, this I'm still confident will produce plenty. Trap doors all the way across. Oh, dang it. I need more already. Can I? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Wood all the way. Boom. Just going to make them a ton. Okay. Well, there's the rest of my wood. Hopefully it's enough. We're getting close. Oh, it's going to be... Be so close. Oh no, I ran out of wood. We're gonna deal with this for now. Okay, 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 okay. Come down, come down, gas. I need to get a uh, hostile. I am to a local. Yes, I am from the nether. I grew up here. Mom, born and raised me. All right, so we're gonna go down. We're gonna go straight down. One thing you're never supposed to do in Minecraft, but we're doing it. We're absolute leggings. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm gonna get a tiny bit more wood. Finish up those trap doors, and it's nighttime. Great. Let's go sleep real quick. Another day. You guys know the drill. It's another grind. I need a little bit more wood. We almost have enough trap doors to finish that thing up, and we're so close. We're so close to being able. To finish it once we finish it it's gonna be great got some wood turn these bad boys into planks maybe that'll be enough i don't know ah whatever we're rolling with it so far so good other than these gas sounds i think we're doing a-okay gas sounds are terrifying oh, there he is oh and he's already after me what's up dog return to sender nope 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 what's up what's up Ooh, uh, oh got him too oh Ooh, baby build back up let's build back up oh man that's already looking good up there i think i'm gonna have to hollow out the roof a decent bit also for the most part i think we'll be good now where are we going we're going over here okay i need to go back to my crafting table Whoop, all the way around and these into trap doors bam all the way across there we go Ooh, the only other problem is that there is light from the lavas and stuff does make it a little bit more tricky this should be dark enough this is yeah this is dark enough this should be dark enough right here now we're gonna go back down and we're gonna expand outward oh there's a lot of pigment down here why are they all down here come on guys start spawning up top you're okay weather's great up there all right it's nice and flaming hot just like everywhere else in here okay so let's expand this out just a tiny bit i'm also going to take all the torches away if possible i need to expand this side as well i'm not panicking you guys are panicking i might actually have to go get these source blocks for these lavas because i think it's creating a little bit too much light that or they need more uh ceiling above them for now we will go up and get these source blocks do so i'm gonna go like this and build a staircase up and then it's gonna go kind of down Diagonal. I just need to make sure that I don't build right into lava. Wow, that'll actually be the end of this playthrough. Wouldn't that just be a, and just like that? Just like that. We're gonna go a safer route. We're gonna go straight instead. Here's so much lava around me. Oh my gosh, dude. I just gotta be careful. I gotta take my time because if I if I try to step too quick, it's gonna be game over. Wow, that is a lot of lava around me. Oh my gosh. Nope, that's lava, right? What the heck? Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. The lava's not pouring for some reason right there. Source block, source block. Where are you? Oh, okay. We're doing this for now like that. That should work. Hopefully <laughs> it'll stop the flow. Is it still flowing? Is that why? Okay. There was blocks right there open. That should work now. That turns off that one. But then now I can go this way and go to that one. Ain't no thing. We mine all the time. We do this on a regular, you know, am I right? There's a ledge here as well as just a lot of lava. Let's go all the way over to the side. Okay. It's way higher. Oh my gosh. How high is that? Oh, it's just right there. Actually. I was up one more block. Okay. <gasps> no, no, this isn't happening. I'm expanding it. I'm making it bigger. Oh, I plugged it. I plugged it up. Go team. Just start making sure that the pigments start spawning on top is that I'm going to place a lot of light everywhere else. That's going to be my other my other strategy here. So then when I'm in here, pigmen are going to want to spawn on top of that tower. Pretty much now it's just kind of a waiting game. They're going to start spawning up here. I mean, they're going to be spawning all over the place. The big goal here is that they're going to spawn up there and then they're going to drop down. They're going to land on the ground. Boom. A bunch of nuggies all over the place. And then we sell those nuggies. That's the big goal here. Uh, for now, what I can do, I can build around myself. And, or I guess I could just hide inside the shack. <laughs> so we're going to stay in here for now we're gonna go afk for a little bit okay all right guys so we're done afk farming i hear pigment around me already so i'm hoping that means that uh they're spawning <laughs> So they're not dying. So by the way, I, uh, because they weren't really spawning. So I was like, oh, what if I make another rack? Because they usually spawn on another rack. Like that makes sense, right? They're literally, oh, they're like, are they all like one hit? Is that what it is? Hold on. This is very risky. Very entertaining if it works. Oh, wait, what? They're not getting mad at me. This is so weird. This is so weird that they aren't getting mad. How many arrows do I got left? I got five. They actually don't care. What is going on? I'm, I'm not on peaceful mode. Definitely on hardcore mode. Literally not caring. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my pigmen. Someone comment down below. Are they sick? Are they okay? Regardless, the farmers technically work here. I just got to punch them all once. Oh, 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 o
Oh, oh. Just his hands, just like your brethren. Okay, we're going, we're going back in. We're going back in. Okay, so we got nuggies now. Oh my gosh, every time I come through this portal, it's nighttime. All right, so now it's daytime. We got our nuggies. And actually, I think, yeah, they dropped some ingots also, which is pretty good. Uh, I got a gold sword. I don't really want it. It's kind of trash. You boys way above that, one would say. So let's dump off all the trash in the trash chest, like you, you. Rotten flesh. <gasps> I actually need so that's perfect okay so now what i want to do i'm actually going to probably move that villager because this one's not taking the job ah, do i just put him down just like put him down it would be the quicker method do they all know i don't think anyone noticed because they gossip hey guys hello feather fellow uh, villagers how are you not inflated prices i see that's good to hear because i i need to buy stuff oh wait i need a lot more rotten flesh great um i need to get him in a minecart now and it's gonna be really hard considering there's eight million villagers over there now dude i hate my life i hate villagers sometimes got a golden ear right here too perfect so we're gonna grab a piece of glass we're gonna place that there just see they're trying to get out dude they want out that ain't happening brother nobody getting out of the aquarium once in the aquarium always in the aquarium i need my redstone torch Torch, see down all the way back into this room where his job is where he will work the rest of his days let's get this guy see they're both trying to get out now though that's the problem this one i can break and i need him okay i gotta break you guys up come on come on break it up break it up all right guys seriously come on i need i need to either a get okay whatever we're on this way i haven't developed this side yet oh god gotta go around take richard's room hey richard bye richard i need to grab like one of these rails i need you guys like i said break this up whatever doing this and then now you should get in there yes perfect perfect lad see you later and he's off to school. You're not the chosen one. Let me get out. Excuse me. See you later. Oh, no. They all want out. There we are. Just like that. See? It's not that difficult. Now look at you. You got a job and everything. You got a job, brother. Your mom will be so proud. So now, basically, I need to level this guy up. I need more rotten flesh. Rotten flesh can be easy to find as well as difficult to find. I can go sit in the pigment farm and get more gold and rotten flesh and power level this guy. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to AFK for probably like an hour or something like that. See how many I can get. I'll like AFK 10 minutes, come back, kill, you know, over and over and over until I get a lot of them. So I'm just going to do that basically until I get a ton of rotten flesh and ton of gold. Oh, look. Just got in here and we got one guy, one little straggler hanging out. Well, how's it, how's it going up there? How's the weather? Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, 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 oh. See, I got an AFK. Let that build up and we'll be back. All right, guys. Let's see here. Let me show you. Let me show you how much I've gotten thus far. So we got 64, 64, and 38. Plus, we got four iron ingots, but I think I actually had that before, which means none of them even dropped any. Then we got a bunch of rotten flesh. So now we're going to take this back to our, se our, our seller, our buyer. Buyer. Yes, buyer. He's buying. I'm not buying. That's for sure. Okay, so let's take this back to him. So you. You will buy all of my rotten flesh. Okay, whatever. I'll buy some of your redstone if it levels you up. Okay. All right. So now he's got the sparklies. Now he's leveling up. Powering up. Okay, he's not. All right. Now he's powering up. Look at the sparklies. It's crazy. All right. So now he buys gold. This is what we've been wanting. So three gold. That's it. Just three gold for one emerald. Should get cheaper. I could farm this a little bit better and do raid. Wow, a water raid. Uh, I didn't even think about that when I'm making my village. I didn't. I never even thought about how it's gonna turn into how raids are gonna be like. You know. So now we're gonna turn all these nuggies into ingots. 19 ingots. It's actually, a decent bit of emeralds now. This is a really good farm, actually. Like I could do this for a while. Look at all that. Got a bunch of XP. Got nine emeralds now. So there's a lot more farms that you can actually do with these villagers. So that's pretty sick of mode. We're actually up to 31 emeralds already. Actually a decent bit. So the, we got the wheat farm going, which I've kind of been slacking on. Richard hasn't gotten much attention. And then now we got the gold ingot farm going. All right, Richard. <sighs> you stupid. Hopefully Richard's wide awake at uh, 9 a.m. Oh, look at him. He's primed and ready. He's like, I know you got that wheat. All right, let's level you up, dog. Yeah, look at that. Oh, a lot of XP out of him, too. But this guy wants so much wheat. Holy crap. Hold on. I got more. I got more. Don't worry. I'll be back. Now let's see if I can max you out, huh? Okay, now he's maxed out. Okay. Now I got 16 emeralds out of just Richard alone. Nice. So now up to the total, we got 47 emeralds. Looking pretty good if I do say so myself. That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys should definitely check out the RL Craft playlist right here. RL Craft is super fun. Definitely enjoying it. It's the hardest mod. Literally the hardest mod pack. So if you guys like really difficult struggles to watch, that's the series. Haven't already? Click this video right over here. This is a video that YouTube recommends just for you because they know what you like. And if you guys are new here, drop a subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.